Former Massachusetts Governor Michael Dukakis is on a mission. Get more young faces in office. Thursday, he made his way to Clark University in hopes of sparking the interest of youth across the state. Our Cam Jandro was there tonight and joins us now with more. Cam? Anna, it's not every day a former presidential candidate comes to your college campus. Speaking to students at Clark today, he says he doesn't want to see kids just getting involved locally, but across the entire country. A packed room of Clark University students hear a special lecture from Michael Dukakis. You know, in the midterms, there was an enormous surge in the turnout among young people, which had a lot to do with the fact that Democrats took over the House. And uh, I think it's very important that these young people get deeply into this. The former Massachusetts governor and presidential candidate spoke about the 2020 presidential race, calling it one of the most important elections in recent history. He says it's why more young people need to be involved. The Democrat is supporting United States Senator Elizabeth Warren. She may be 69 to 70, but let me tell you, she's about as young as anybody I know and uh, has enormous energy. Students asked Dukakis questions, including how he felt about the current political climate. Dukakis weighed in, also touching on the recent impeachment inquiry surrounding President Donald Trump. I'm not a fan of the impeachment thing because it can't succeed because the Senate isn't going to vote to impeach. The three-term governor now serves as a visiting professor at UCLA. Dukakis says he wanted to give students at Clark a chance to hear from a longtime politician in hopes of inspiring them to pursue a career in public service. Now, I'm no expert on how to win the presidency. I'm pretty good at winning primaries, but no, not the presidency. But um, I want to spend as much time with young people as I can. Now, Dukakis says he wants to build off the momentum from the midterm election, hopefully spread enough awareness so the voter turnout in 2020 is one of the biggest in history. In the studio tonight, I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight.